Charles Pena of Fox Business News reacted to Bernie Sanders' Q4 fundraising numbers, and specifically, he reacted to who is donating to Bernie Sanders the most. And his reaction was hilarious, I think. So he talked about this on his program on Fox Business, but he also tweeted about this initially, saying, Say what? Bernie Sanders' $34.5 million fourth quarter fundraising is impressive but worrisome. Top occupation? Teachers. American teachers embracing socialism. So what are they teaching our children? <laughs> I love this tweet so much. Um, I don't know, math, reading history. He's missing the mark here. He doesn't understand why teachers are supporting Bernie Sanders because they are working Americans. Um, but I'm going to play the clip and then we'll break it down as to why so many working Americans are donating to Bernie Sanders in large numbers, even if they don't have as much money as elites. Take a look. Wowza, Bernie Sanders raising $34.5 million in the final quarter of the year. The haul from nearly 2 million donors far exceeds the like of Pete Buttigieg, but that's not, he had a great quarter himself. Very impressive. So where's Sanders' money? Where's it coming from? Well, the most common employers were folks who worked in Amazon, Starbucks, Walmart, Target, the U.S. Postal Service. But here's a little nugget that really got me worried. The most common occupation? Teachers. I mean, teachers are backing the socialist candidate. I mean, when you think about that, you have to ask yourself, what are they teaching our kids? I want to bring in Democratic strategist Kevin Chavos, along with uh, Trump 20 senior legal advisor Jenna Ellis. Uh, Jenna, I, you know, when I saw that, I'm like, teachers? They're, they're backing the socialists? What country is this? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Charles, I don't think anyone, regardless of any profession, should be backing socialism whatsoever. And so I think that's a problem, regardless of what profession we're talking about. But uh, I think what's most interesting about this, and it probably speaks a lot more to the influence of the uh, union bosses over teachers more than anything else. And so I don't think that when you look at, um, you know, the average teacher in America and uh, what they are for and what they're promoting, um, I think it speaks a lot more to the union influence. And, you know, Bernie has gotten some of those endorsements. But if you look at unions otherwise, President Trump certainly has um, a lot more of the backing of other types of unions. And I think that we're going to see that for the individual um, average American, regardless of profession, yeah. you see so much in those small campaign dollars that are going to President Trump. Well, let's over talk about Trump else. in a moment, Jenna. And first of all, folks, I do have breaking news. Uh, it's official now. Biden's uh, fourth quarter numbers are in. He raised $22.7 million, slightly better than he had in the third quarter, Kevin. Uh, but here's the thing. You consider Bernie's numbers. You consider Mayor Pete uh, almost $25 million. You consider over, over $12 million for, for Andrew Yang. And I'm looking at these numbers, and I'm saying to myself, the, the Democrat establishment is losing their grip. It feels like grassroots, your party... Uh, they don't want the, these manufactured, uh, you know, candidates that the establishment sort of rubber stamps. There's obviously an appetite for change. And look, Bernie Sanders has been a fundraising dynamo. Um, even in 2016, he had this sort of reputation and raised more money from small individual donors than anyone had before. And now he's broken that record. So it's more of the same for him, and it is very impressive. But I would say about Joe Biden, I mean, his numbers are pretty encouraging for him to come in, as you said, Ed, at uh, 22 million, almost 23. And he's starting to coalesce top Democratic fundraisers around his campaign, um, those who supported Biden and Hillary. Um, let's not forget that Hillary in 2016 outraised the Trump campaign and the, the RNC. Right. And I think we'll, we'll see... Joe Biden begin to get that support. So these numbers are good for him. And I would say the biggest loser is Elizabeth Warren, who um, yeah, continues to Yeah, there's no doubt drop. about that. I, I agree with yeah. you. But let me ask you, though, if you take, take Mayor Pete, Bernie, and Andrew Yang, that, you know, uh, over $50 million. It, there's a message being sent to your party, though. That's the question I'm saying. Is anyone paying attention to it, or will they continue to, to borrow your work to coalesce around, uh, around Biden? I'll take this one. They will never coalesce around Bernie Sanders. They may one day begrudgingly acquiesce if he does become the nominee, but not all of them, and not without a huge fight. So getting to the substance of that clip, there wasn't much there, but um, I found it interesting because they were trying to speculate about why Bernie Sanders gets all of this support from working people and namely teachers. It's not that complicated. It's really simple. But yet the Trump legal advisor, which I wouldn't want to be a legal advisor for Donald Trump at this point, but nonetheless, she um, 
suggested that maybe, you know, teachers only support Bernie Sanders because unions and they're influencing him to uh, influencing them to support Bernie Sanders. No, you're overanalyzing this. Occam's razor, ladies and gentlemen, it's a simple explanation. The reason why teachers support Bernie Sanders is not because they have some nefarious agenda to implement socialism in classrooms. I mean, that's stupid. If they wanted to do that, they could already technically do that, right? But the reason why teachers love Bernie Sanders is because he is looking out for them. Politics is about self-interest. We vote based on who we believe will improve our lives. It's why most rich people are economically conservative and most working class people, broadly speaking, support social democracy, policies like uh, Medicare for all, tuition-free public colleges and universities, right? We all, at the end of the day, we may care about everyone, but we look out for ourselves. Teachers are supporting Bernie because he understands teachers are underpaid and teachers are being taken advantage of. And if we truly want to create a thriving economy, then we should probably pay the people who are training the next generation better, right? Now, on top of that, it's not just teachers. The reason why Walmart workers and Starbucks employees support Bernie Sanders is very simple. They're struggling. Bernie is the only individual who understands the economic situation that they are in because Bernie Sanders talks to people. He doesn't spend time taking selfies with people. He actually engages with people. They share their concerns with him. They share the issues that they're dealing with, and then he responds accordingly with policy solutions. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. You can watch all of his town halls. They're all broadcasted on his YouTube channel, and people will come to him with issues that they can't afford insulin. They lost their job. They're pregnant, and they can't afford, you know, the medical bills. This is what Bernie Sanders does. He listens to people. That's why they know that he's going to represent them because nobody else does this in politics. I mean, think about Walmart workers. These individuals are worked so hard, but yet they're paid so little. They have to go on food stamps. I mean, look, I, when I graduated college and I was going through grad school, I had to work at Walmart temporarily because that was the only way that I could make ends meet. And I had food stamps while I was working at Walmart. And, it, you know, you have this sense that you really are being exploited. It, you can never take a moment to just breathe. You finish the finish a project and you're talking with one of your coworkers, then you get yelled at by a manager because, you know, how dare you stop for a moment? They just overwork you. You just feel underappreciated. And Bernie Sanders, unlike all the other elitist politicians running, acknowledges the inherent worth in all of us as human beings. We're not just cogs in the machine of capitalism or Walmart or Starbucks. Like, we are each individual human beings with immense value and worth. Therefore, we should be accommodated for the work that we do and treated like human beings. We should be given a living wage, $15 an hour plus. We should be given health care that's free at the point of service so we don't have to worry about dying if we can't afford copays. If we don't have insurance, we should be able to go to school and not worry about debt right? I have anxiety when I think about all of the college debt that I've accumulated. I don't know that I will ever be able to pay it off unless it's canceled like Bernie Sanders, then I'm going to live with this forever. A lot of us kind of feel this way. It's really demoralizing and it produces a lot of anxiety. So, I mean, it's, it's just so funny to me and it demonstrates how out of touch they are on Fox News that they have to speculate why teachers and Starbucks employees and Walmart workers would support Bernie Sanders. It's obvious because he cares about them. How do you not see that? How do you not see why the only candidate in the race who has consistently had a record of fighting to improve the lives of working Americans is popular? I mean, it's obvious why his message resonates with the normal Americans. Because he cares about them and not just in some politician patronizing way. He's listened to their concerns. And he wants to improve their lives. He's just genuinely a good person. He's not perfect on policy. I don't agree with him on absolutely everything. He's not a saint. But he's trying. He's listening and responding with policy. Nobody else is doing that. Nobody else is consistently releasing policies like this. You have Elizabeth Warren putting out policies, but none of them go as far as Bernie Sanders. So... It's not a surprise that teachers and working Americans are donating to Bernie Sanders in large numbers. That's obvious. It's because they want someone who's finally going to represent them. And Bernie Sanders, obviously, is the only person who is going to do that. That's 
as simple as it is. I mean, you don't have to overcomplicate it and try to, you know, dissect what these people might be thinking, look into the psychology of teachers. I mean, it's really simple. They support him because he cares about them. Period. End of story. <laughs> and like to think that Charles Payne is probably making like six or seven figures to do political analysis where he can't even understand why teachers would support Bernie Sanders. Embarrassing.